Does an upgraded air cooler on the B9 negatively affect coolant temperatures? Are you seeing oil temp issues after installing an intercooler? I mean, it, the, everything's compromised. So yeah, I mean, if you're if you got more heat exchangers and more uh, airflow blockers and, and that kind of thing in front of radiators, then there are compromises on the other side. So yeah, all that to say, it still wouldn't be better to run a factory intercooler. Yeah, exactly. For heat. That's, that's the whole thing is you've got to pick pick your yeah. pick your battles here. Um, overall, it's a, it's still a net gain with a bigger intercooler. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, the rest of the systems are then behind a, a bigger intercooler. So. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, we are seeing elevated temps across the board. It's not this because of like, the intercooler. This isn't like track driving situations yeah. too, or not you know, really not really on the street. really heavy load stuff, but not not on yeah, not on the street, not any normal situations. Yeah. Um, but but the more power the engine produces, the more heat it produces. Yeah. It's it's um, it's just physics. The if you create twice as much power, you're going to release twice as much heat. Uh, there's no free lunch there, so. Um, the intercooler isn't causing, you know, elevated temperatures. It's all the power you're making. Yeah. Um, the intercooler allows you to make the increased power. So now what we're doing is we have uh, an auxiliary uh, radiator option that we can add. We have the main radiator upgrade. Uh, we'll be bringing an oil cooler kit to market. So um, we're doing, we're, we're addressing all the, the coolant uh, needs that the motor has. All right. Oh, good. That's Big boy. There's a big boy. Oh my goodness. Here's the radiator. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can see your face through it. That's okay. uh, as you can see, it's nice and big. Mm -hmm. Chunker. All the aluminum. Um, do we have any of the specs on it that you guys can check in the list? Um, direct install for factory. Um, fits a whole bunch of different applications. I think we can set a flat. You got a little post there. Yeah. It's on. Maybe. We'll see what that crashes down on, too. All right, so it offers uh, one additional liter of coolant capacity over factory, 40% um, increase in radiator coolant capacity over factory radiator, um, increased core thickness from 35 millimeters to 42 millimeters, um, 62 row B tube fins with five millimeter fin height. So this is this is a more efficient um, version of the factory uh, radiator tubes, which is what the coolant flows through to shed heat. Overall, 16% increase in cooling capacity. Um, and this is manufactured for us to our specifications by CSF, our, our partner with a lot of these cooling products. So, um, yep, and then uh, app, as far as applications, it fits you know all the B9 3.0T applications like S4, S5, B9.5 variants. Um, what else does it fit? SQ5 get its own? SQ5, uh, yeah. it, so we did test fit in an SQ5. This can be made to fit in an SQ5 pretty easily, but we are going to just bring a different part number to market. There's just a couple tiny little yeah, changes. I they were doing some testing on that. Um, to the, the, the fan shrouds. The SQ5 has a bigger fan shroud with two big bigger fans than the S4 does. And uh, just because it's a bigger, heavier car. Um, and so we'll, we'll make a few small changes. If you have an SQ5 and you really, really want this in your car now, you could install it. We could advise you. You just have to make a couple tweaks to the fan shroud. But um, we'll just do a new part number for SQ5, guys. Um, do we know what applications? Uh, C8, S6, S7, and B9, RS4, and RS5 as well. So oh, yeah. 2.19 so That's B9, uh, RS4. RS4 and RS5, the 2.9T variants, the S7 with the 3.0T. Uh, 2.9T. Yeah, oh, with the 2.9T, yeah, the C8, S7. So it, you can see all the applications on our website. Um, and yes, the, this would this would help counter intercooler heat issues. So by having more capacity to cool here, um, you can deal with, with the heat of an intercooler in front as well. 